The best signal occurs when the end point and the gateway are in close proximity, but, as we have seen, the attenuation increases as the distance increases. Eventually, the power of the received signal becomes unusable. This could be likened to trying to hold a conversation at a greater and greater distance. Now consider the same situation as a noisy party. The temptation is to raise your voice, but little is achieved if everybody shouts at the party, or in radio terms. All this does is drain the battery even more rapidly. An option would be to speak more slowly and clearly. This is what LoRaWAN does, electronically, and it's called the spreading factor. As the distance increases, the signal is sent with the spreading factor stepping from 7 nearby to 12 at a distance. If every communication was just allowed to follow this pattern, the temptation would be for the whole network to slow down. To stop this situation from occurring, there's another rule that limits the total amount of time any transmission can take, and this is quite draconian, just 1% of the allowable time. Short-range communication speaking rapidly can therefore pass more data at the higher rate than the more language can do at distant extremes. This trade-off of distance against power transmitted and quantity of data sent is covered by the heading data rate that ranges from 0 to 6. 0 at the extreme and 6 nearby. Understanding this feature of LoRaWAN is quite sufficient. For completeness, I will overlay this graphic with the details used in the UK and European implementation of LoRaWAN, bitrate, and finally, receiver sensitivity. The gateway and each end device may be programmed to negotiate their optimum individual data rate based upon their local settings. This is called ADR, adaptive data rate. Everything is done within the end device to increase